Okay. Not in focus. Oh, hey. Hey guys, what's up? It's Micah. I'm in my doll room right now, as you can see, and I am shooting a stop motion. I think it's interesting when beauty gurus do like get ready with me's where they answer questions while they put on their makeup. So I thought, what would it be like if an age YouTuber did a get ready with me, but it was actually a stop motion with me. So that's what I'm doing today. So I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram because as you know, my comments are banned on YouTube. Y'all had a lot of great questions and I'm going to get to work on this scene and try to simultaneously answer your questions. Let's get started. Open the script book. We're about to have to retire this one. I have like two pages left. Very unconventional <laughs> when it comes to like how to write scripts, but it works for me. So, okay. I don't even know where to look. I guess we'll start at the bottom and work up. Okay. First question. Are you going to make a summer AG stop motion? No. Um, I leave during the summer to work at a camp and, um, my stop motion movies take a really long time. And so it just doesn't make a ton of sense for me to like spend a ton of time on one video when I need to be like pre-recording for the rest of the summer to have stuff to upload while I'm gone. I think it would be fun, maybe one day. What do you think of the new Truly Me dolls? American Girl sent me some and I'm gonna give them away on my Patreon, but I, I wanna keep them. How did you get your first AG doll? Molly was my birthday present for my, I think seventh birthday, I think. I need to go back and watch my, draw my life. What are you majoring in in college? Media arts, so film. Uh, what inspires you most? Everything. I draw inspiration from people, movies I've seen, TV shows I watched as a kid. Also, sorry for this creaky floorboard. That's annoying, but it's real. That's part of what happens when I shoot right here. How many dolls do you have? Mm, my collection has grown on accident a lot. So I have... Let me think. My sister has six dolls. She's gonna take them back for her kids when she gets married and has, has kids. I have personally bought or been gifted by my family 11 dolls. Between friends that have given me their old ones and then gifts from American Girl, um, when you add them up, uh, there's like 25 or 26 of them. There's a lot. It's really bad. A lot of them I don't end up keeping. I like to give them away to you guys. Like some of them I do keep just as extras, just because American Girl's so generous to me. I'd say my OGs are like the 11 that you see in the house all the time. They're all getting so old too. It hit me the other day, like how loose all of their limbs are and it made me super sad. Is it hard juggling school with all your dolls? Yes. <laughs> I feel like I was really good about it in high school just because I was already here, I was home. So when I had any lick of free time, like I could come upstairs it was easy. At college, I have to definitely budget my time a lot more if I'm wanting to make a stop motion. I have to like plan out the weekend that I'm gonna come home. I don't know, it's just a lot more effort and like because I have like a set amount of time that I have to be here and like with all my props and things, I have to be really diligent and just work all day. It's a lot, but I enjoy it. I'm still doing it. Have you ever sold your dolls you didn't have a bond with? Uh, yeah, I sold Leah a couple years ago. Actually, I didn't sell her, I gave her away. I gave her away in a giveaway. Have you ever cut your doll's hair before? When I was nine years old, I gave Samantha and Nelly haircuts. I got in big trouble. Opinions on Joss. I think she's so cute. I think her collection is one of my favorites. I saw this joke. It's not, it's, I don't know. I thought it was funny. I'll put it right here. Opinions on Joss having a Volkswagen for $650? <gasps> I didn't know it was that much. Yo. So American Girl actually sent me the Volkswagen. <sighs> That's a lot of money. I didn't know that. I can say, like having seen it in person, it makes sense that it's that expensive because of the amount of detail, the amount of accessories, just like everything about it is so realistic. But I will say that's a lot of money. This next question I had not even thought about until now. The next question is asking about the Sophie Awards this summer because I don't have comments on my videos because of the whole COPPA thing. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do that. I would hope that I'll still be able to do like some sort of form of it. It might be through Patreon. I really don't wanna move it to Instagram because I feel like the community of Instagram is really different than the one of YouTube and I like prefer the one of YouTube because Instagram is like its own community of a lot of older collectors and I know that like my main fan base is younger and so I really wanna still cater to my main people. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to be talking to my dad about that I hadn't even considered that so how is college a lot of people ask questions about college like is it hard how's it going if you guys okay I'm gonna plug myself here if you don't watch my Micah Kate channel 
you should if you're curious about college. I vlog on there all the time with my friends and just like show my schedule, show what I do in my free time. Y'all could see why I'm so busy. I think that college has been a lot of fun in the sense that I have been able to develop my Kate a lot more and just like really invest in that growing community. But yeah, if you're interested, it's fun. I don't just post vlogs. I'll do like music videos, the occasional skit or something if I'm feeling really creative, which is not very often. How old are you? I'm 20. I turned 20 in December. A lot of people asked how Patreon was going. It's going well. Hopefully in March, I'm going to start rolling out more giveaway opportunities because American Girl sends me a lot of really incredible products and I want to share them with the people that are supporting me through there. I'm definitely on there a lot more than I'm on Instagram. So in that sense, it's been really great getting to like communicate with people one-on-one. -on -one. People are able to comment on my videos on Patreon. Patreon, which has been a huge boost for me because it's really hard to make all these videos and then not hear from you guys when I post them. Especially, I will tell you, posting the video that I had my friends do with my dolls a couple weeks ago, that was hard not to receive comments on just because I felt like it was such a funny video and so with that I feel like y'all have really funny comments and my friends love to read them and so I think that that was a really tough day posting it and then silence. So I do like Patreon for that, just like still being able to keep in touch with y'all. I don't know, I missed just what I had. I mean, I'm sure y'all understand. Are there any free apps for editing stop motions? I don't know of any. Honestly, if stop motion is something that you're really interested in, I would just recommend buying the version of iMovie that costs money or like buying like a little video app because in the grand scheme of things like five dollars is not that much and if it's something that you like really want to get good at why not invest i got a lot of questions about where my next meetup was going to be if i was going to be doing another meetup and the answer is i don't know i i will for sure be doing another meetup but i don't know when my schedule is just so busy it's hard to get away um i would really like to go out of state again i would say comment below where you think i should go next sorry guys i'm being i'm being better what do you like about your classes that's a fun question when you start taking classes for what you're interested in such as film like me it's a lot more fun I feel like my film class specifically I love because we watch movies in the class and discuss them and that's just my dream I love watching movies so things like that and then I'm in Spanish I want to be fluent entonces I love my Spanish class I don't know I think it's really fun I don't know it's just fun being able to take classes that actually interest you granted not all of them will like you will have to take basics like math and science but once you start to get into your major it's a lot more fun who inspired your channel a lot of old names that probably not of y'all would have heard of x molly girls x girl beer studios steven's voted dancer katie 008 or something like that there was like tuck twister or something like really old accounts that i don't even think exist anymore why are your newer dolls not part of your main family i get this question a lot <laughs> and I don't really have a good answer mainly because I don't have enough room in the dollhouse because I like my setup of each room having two dolls I don't know. I just I I really like the personalities that I have for each of my dolls I just I just like the dynamic and I think it's also fun having like friends and neighbors and extras to use that y'all don't recognize all the time What's something you've learned this year? I've learned with this whole thing with YouTube and like having to completely like re not rebrand my channel I feel like it's still the same but like move to patreon and like lose touch with y'all through comments the crazy change that I feel like happened so fast I'm learning patience and I'm learning the value of being able to adjust with the times and realize that like things are constantly changing and so like from a business point of view my dad has been teaching me a lot of like you can't like sit in sadness when things change you just have to keep moving and not in a way that you like don't take time to be sad and you don't take time to mourn but also like you have to come out of that eventually if you ever want to move on you know what sport do you play or have you played currently i don't play organized sports in college i do intramural which is for fun and you like compete against other intramural teams so i play sand volleyball and then court volleyball in middle school i did track basketball volleyball and then in high school i did volleyball and soccer i miss sports who's your favorite doll I don't have one guys. I really really don't. They're all special to me for different reasons. What is something you've accomplished on AGTube that you are most proud of? I think my past two specials that I filmed. Is that an accomplishment or a project? I guess it's more of a project. I don't know accomplishment. I guess like being here 10 years later that's a pretty big accomplishment. Favorite girl of the year? Probably Jess. Jess has always been one of my faves. Least favorite stop motion to make? 
I can't think of a specific one that I just hated, but I really dislike shooting outside. I was filming outside earlier today and it always just puts me in a really bad mood. For some reason, I don't know why, I've never been able to shoot outside successfully without dolls falling over and that just makes me so angry. I mean, y'all get that. Okay, actually I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't enjoy shooting the Sophie Awards because the movements are so repetitive, the camera doesn't change. It's just a really long day. I shoot it in a day, ideally, and I just, I don't enjoy it. There, I said it. Favorite foods. Guys, I have three favorite foods. Burritos, buffalo wings, boneless, and pizza. <laughs> Those are my favorite foods. I'm easy to please, what can I say? How did you pick your doll's names? Honestly, I don't know. How do you make your doll's eyes blink in stop motion? I guess I could show you. Excuse Melody, she doesn't have pants on and her hair is a mess. So here she is. You just take her eye and you tuck in the eyelash like that. You just tuck it in like so. It's really easy. Hello. Hello. When do you graduate? I graduate in two years. I'm a sophomore. Do people ever make fun of you for playing with dolls? No. People haven't made fun of me since middle school. I was really insecure of it in high school and I wish that I hadn't been. And then when I got to college, I've been super open about it and it has honestly been the greatest thing ever. Like. I can't imagine keeping it a secret at the stage of life that I'm in right now. Kids are mean in middle school, so like I see why I did it, and I see what my fear was in high school. Rockstar 13 Studios put it really well on her Instagram a while ago. She was posting a story like, film kids specifically think any type of like stop motion is really cool. So like I haven't been afraid to tell like any of my classmates. Was Mixie Pixie 7 your channel name when you made videos with your sister? Yes, it was. Yeah, fun fact for you guys, for like the first three months of having this channel, my sister made videos with me and then she just like stopped and then I kept going and here we are. Advice for someone going to high school, enjoy it. It's gonna fly. Don't get caught up in drama. There there are ways. You pretend that there's not ways, but there are ways. Just be yourself, smile at people, don't mess with the seniors. I have a video on it. I'll link it. What's your favorite? Oh, this is cute. What's your favorite pair of shoes that you have for your dolls? I have a pair of jellies that I think are so much fun. And then also my latest obsession are these Doc Martens. I got them from eBay. They're like from 90s American Girl. And I love them because I have my own Doc Martens and it's just so cute. How do you produce videos so fast? Honestly, guys, when I make a video, it's all I do. I just, I have it down to a science and I stick with it. What's your favorite color? Honestly, like this bluish green right here that Emma's wearing is pretty great. I love like teals. I also love pastels. I don't know. I love all colors. Favorite room in the dollhouse. I really like the bottom level of just like the living room and kitchen. I also really like Sage and Bren's room. What's your favorite TV show? I really don't have time to watch TV anymore. I really liked Stranger Things. Like the first and second season. Didn't like the third. Not excited for the fourth. I don't know. The old Disney will just always have a special place in my heart. Hannah Montana. Like they're so cheesy but like also, like, actually, some of the writing is really funny. Specifically for Wizards of Waverly Place. Like, I think Max's writing is good stuff. When and how did you tell your friends about your dolls? In high school, it was a lot more... It's so funny. It was a lot bigger of a deal. Like, I would, I would sit down and I would think to myself, okay, when am I going to tell them? How am I going to tell them? And then when I would tell them, it would be like, okay, I have something to tell you. But when I got to college, it was just like a casual mention. I was just like, oh yeah, I have two channels. I do stop motions and then I have Micah Kate. The more casual you make it and the less less weird you make it the what why can't I speak the less weird that they're gonna think it is I think the more you're like it's just weird then they're gonna be like well I, I guess so if you think so if you could rename Sophie Claire what would you name her guys for some reason the name Allison is the first thing that pops into my head what dolls do you want to get honestly guys I don't want any more dolls what cameras do you use so the one I'm shooting on right now is a Canon Rebel T7i and then the one that I'm shooting this on is the Canon G7X so it's like the vlog camera that all the cool youtubers use and I'm, I'm just trying to be that are you still doing the PO box for your channel yes I'm planning to film a video today I'm sorry it's been so long since I've made one the whole COPPA thing really threw off my groove and then starting patreon I wasn't sure how I wanted to handle fan mail and so I decided I am gonna film an opening one today. I don't know if I'm gonna do mail of the week anymore. I might get back into that. I'm not sure. I think I will. I probably will. Do people at your school watch your videos? All my friends do. Do you collect anything other than American Girl dolls? No. What's one of your most favorite videos that you've made? Probably my Halloween special. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably say the house sitter. Uh, I don't know. I'm also really happy with 
the Christmas sisters just because my sets I'm normally so lazy when it comes to making sets you guys I hate making sets outside of the dollhouse but like I feel like I really killed it this Christmas I don't know that's all the questions I'm gonna answer sorry if this video was long hopefully you thought it was kind of interesting I thought it would be an interesting idea and I was gonna say comment below if you liked it but I can't so uh maybe get patreon and tell me there or on Instagram but I'm not on Instagram a lot because I delete it during the week when I'm at school just to focus on class so it's just harder to be in touch with me there I I love you guys a lot and I hope that you're having a good day. You got a little view of what it's like to do this. It's been 30 minutes and I have shot this this much right here. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to check out our Patreon page to keep Mixy Pixie 7 available on YouTube. Here's a shout out to our supporters now. y'all. I love you a ton. Bye.